There's a whole bunch of cards within Pokemon TCG Pocket that I really would like to get. And as I continue to open up packs, I really hope I end up getting these specific cards because they're going to complete some of the decks that I'm trying to build, and in general, they are very rare finds. And these are the cards that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Let's get right into it. Hey, how's it going everyone? Count Jensula here with a brand new video. I hope your day is going really well and let's jump right into it. So, today I want to talk about a bunch of cards within Pokemon TCG Pocket, which I'm specifically looking for in order to complete some decks that I want to play with. And in particular, I feel like as I continue to play the game, as I continue to open packs, I will eventually get a bunch of these cards, but in general, it would be nice if I could get them sooner rather than later, because as I have these certain decks in mind that I want to try out, it's really going to be a time thing. Like, the sooner I get these decks, the better it's going to be for my gameplay, the more battles I'm going to be able to win, and in turn, the more hourglasses I'm going to attain. And when I obtain those hourglasses, I'm going to be able to open up more packs and get more rare cards. So. Yeah, it really is a cycle I would like to get into, but it's all going to depend on whether or not I get these specific cards. So let's open up my game collection right now. You can see right here at the very top, I have a whole bunch of really good cards that I've already obtained. All of these cards were obtained for free. I haven't been spending any money in this game as of yet, and I feel like most of these cards are definitely already the envy of most TCG players like this Mewtwo EX. This was probably the biggest pull I have ever gotten, obviously, and uh, I've been trying to build a deck around it. I've been doing a lot of research on what deck works with this Mewtwo EX card, and I found that what I particularly need is going to be a second Gardevoir. Right now, I have one Gardevoir, and it's not enough for me to build a deck around it. I would like to get two Gardevoirs with two Curlias and two Routes so that I could have these Mewtwo EX cards go online. It's one of the things that I've been primarily focusing in on. Like every single one of the deck energy points or the pack energy points, I've been spending it towards getting these specific cards. And I would really like to get them because the current meta deck is a Pikachu EX deck along with a Mewtwo EX deck. And the Mewtwo EX deck requires two Gardevoir. So that's particularly been my focus when it comes to obtaining cards. I've been basically just opening up exclusively Mewtwo packs in hopes of getting that second Gardevoir. That would be really sick. Now, in terms of other cards on my wish list, I would really like to build that Pikachu EX deck, but unfortunately, I still do not have my first one. I would like to get a Pikachu EX. That would definitely be nice. It's a very powerful card. And if I were to get two of them, then I would definitely try to build out that Pikachu EX meta deck. It really is all about the gameplay at this point. I really do like the collection aspect of Pokemon TCG Pocket, but for myself, it's all about battling. I want to win more battles. I want to be able to complete a lot of these missions to get the hourglasses to open up more packs. And then in general, I just feel like the gameplay is just more fun when you focus in on battling. If all you're doing is opening up packs every single day and you're just completely neglecting the battling aspect, then the game is only going to go so far. You're going to get bored of the game really quickly. And I do think that when it comes to battling, what's really important about it is that it allows you to get more hourglasses. And when you get more hourglasses, you're able to open up more packs for free. So yeah, battling has been my focus. And if you take a look right now, the decks that I'm working with are pretty weak, like they're extremely weak. I already did a showcase of this deck in a previous video, but I feel like with this deck it does work out really well in some matchups, but what it really needs is that Gardevoir family. If I were to replace this Pidgeot family with Gardevoir and let's say I take out Snorlax for Jinx, then this deck would completely come online. It would be so unstoppable, it would definitely net me a lot more wins, and as I get those wins, I'll be able to open up more packs. So yeah, that's been my primary focus. I would really like to get more Gardevoirs. So another card that I would really like to get is, of course, Charizard EX. In particular, maybe the gold one. That would be really cool. Why would I want that, even though I don't plan to make a deck around it? Well, for the simple point in that it is an iconic card, right? Like when you think of Pokemon cards, you typically think of Charizard Hollows. And I would be really stoked to get myself a Charizard within this game. It's such an iconic card. I really would like to get one just for the sake of having it. 
And I think if I were to get it, it would definitely be the one card that I would like to show off. So yeah, eventually once I complete the Gardevoir family, I'm probably going, I'm probably going to start opening up the Charizard packs because yeah, picking up a Charizard EX would definitely be really cool. There's different versions of Charizard EX that they have available in the game. I think getting any of them would be really cool to start off, but obviously the big goal would be to get that gold full art version. That would definitely be sick. So yeah, there's quite a lot of cards that I'm looking for. A lot of it has to do with deck building, of course, but of course there is the one card that is available once you complete the Kanto Pokedex, and that is the Mew card. That is a card that I would really like. As soon as I heard about the existence of the Mew card, I just had to get it. Like that was one of the big goals that I had for playing this game. And that one is just all about opening up packs because you're just trying to fill up your Pokedex. And then eventually when you get every single one of the Kanto Pokemon that's available, then you will be able to obtain Mewtwo or Mew rather. And it's just going to be given to you. So that is one of those hidden mission cards in case you didn't know. There's actually hidden missions within this game that's going to award you with some really cool stuff. And Mew is one of that stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to continue to open up as many packs as I can every single day. I'm going to continue to battle so that I could get more of those packs. And hopefully I'll be able to complete those decks and then I'll be able to battle a lot easier. So yeah, these are the cards that I'm really looking for when it comes to Pokemon TCG battles. And I really hope I end up getting them really soon because I would like to get a lot more wins. Currently, right now, I'm running this water deck, and let me show it off real quick. It's doing okay. It's basically a deck built around the Starmie EX cards that I got. I think those cards are actually pretty powerful. It's kind of like the water version of Pikachu EX, although it's not as powerful, but these cards are definitely worth using if you have them. Like, they're pretty strong. And if you were to build a deck around them, and if you were lucky enough to get Starmie EX with the Staryu in your first hand, you're going to knock out a bunch of their Pokemon before they can evolve and before they can do some serious damage against you. And that's really what I've been doing with this deck. As of right now, I really want to focus in on de like deck building. And because of that, I just need to get those specific cards that I'm looking to get. But for now, yeah, let me show you this water deck in action. It's... Not that bad. There's obviously some improvements to this deck that I can make, but that's really going to come down to what cards I end up getting. And hopefully the opponents that I go up against are not going to be strong against my water types, like the Pikachu EX decks that I've been going up against. This guy, or this lady, whoever she or he may be, is level 29, so I'm a little bit scared here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start off with Snorlax. Snorlax is a pretty strong opener, I found. Like, yeah, it's not going to have a lot of battle power, but... It's basically, oh wow, they're starting off with Articuno. I think this one is cooked. But the nice thing about Star Snorlax is that it's really difficult to take down. So your opponents have to do a lot in order to get it knocked out. Oh wow, Misty. That is a card that I need for this deck. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with this battle. I'm pretty sure I'm cooked. Yeah, oh my gosh. That RNG is bad. Oh boy. Yeah, that Articuno is going to wreck me. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep this going. I have good feelings about it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do Professor's Research. See if I can pick up a Starmie. Yep, there it is. Pretty sweet. And why not? I'm going to do a red card just to mix up their deck. And I realized if they do not have a second basic Pokemon, I could just win this if I can knock out that Articuno. The problem is, I don't have anything strong enough to actually knock it out, and chances are, yeah, they're gonna have a Pokemon ready. So, this is actually looking very scary. They got two Articuno EXs already, they got Misty cards, which are just, you know, they could be, you know, Misty can be a very strong trainer card, or it could be a complete dud. And, uh, yeah, looks like it's a pure RNG based card, like, it could really work out in your favor. Or it could be a card that just does not work out at all. And uh, yeah, that time I got a little lucky there. But for now, I'm going to do this evolution. I'm going to heal up. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to use Snorlax. Or I'm going to use Sabrina Snorlax. I'm going to use Sabrina and then push their card out. Make them spend energy to bring it back in. Although they could probably just, yeah, bring in the second one, build up the energy for that. But they can't use Misty cards at this point, so it's going to be a while before they could 
actually do some damage. All right, in the meantime, oh yeah, there's the Pokeball. Let's see how this ends up. I have a feeling I might be able to pull this out. It really depends. It's just going to be an energy race at this point. Uh, ooh, that's not going to help me at all. We already have that Starmie EX built out. That's the nice thing about it. Just two energy and it's good to go. So now I'm going to build up my Lapras's and try to get four water energies on this one so that it could deal 90 damage. But if you look, Starmie EX, the reason why it's so powerful is that it can deal 90 damage for just two energy. That's what makes it so strong. I mean, Hydro Pump on Lapras is a strong attack, but it does require so much more energy. All right, here we go. Now that, uh, oh, there's the nicer Starmie. I'm going to continue building up energy and I'm just going to wait till this Snorlax gets knocked out and then I'm just gonna start dealing as much damage as I can. Hopefully my Pokemon will survive enough for me to actually win this game. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Articuno is a very powerful card, unfortunately. I do think that I'm gonna be toast a little bit sooner than rather than later. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I don't like where this is going. All right, they're gonna do Blizzard. That's gonna knock out my Snorlax. Then I'm gonna bring out Starmie. And then I'm going to hopefully be able to knock out this Articuno before it starts dealing incredible damage. All right, I do have that potion, so if things go haywire, maybe I have an out. But for now, let's see what goes down. I'm going to use this Pokeball because I know what basic Pokemon is left. Yep, I got an Articuno myself. So I'm going to pop that down. Boom. I'm going to put this Starmie right there. And then I'm also going to prep up this Lapras because chances are this Starmie EX is going to get knocked out really soon. And that's going to be devastating. I'm not going to like that. <laughs> right now, they have a strong advantage. At this point, it's going to be very hard for me to win. I actually cannot think of a solid way for me to beat this unless I can pull out that second potion. That's what I'm going to need. Now, what I could do here is anticipate that they're going to bring out the second Articuno. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually retreat this for my Lapras. I'm going to put that fourth energy on there and then potion it. And hopefully this will be enough to survive for a little bit. Boom. If that Starmie EX dies, that's pretty much game over, right? They get they get two victory points when they defeat an EX card. So this is already looking very scary. I gotta knock this out somehow really quickly. I think I might be okay, actually. I think I might be okay. This might actually work. Let's see here. Let's see how things go. Okay, there goes the blizzard which we expected. I need to get that second potion as quickly as possible. This is really the way I'm going to have to go about this. I'm going to have to hydro pump this Articuno. There it goes. Oh boy, I can see how they could win this. I can see their win. Oh, I should have used the red card. Oh boy, that might be that might be it because they could Sabrina it. Yep. Oh boy, this is rough. Okay. Okay, okay, I gotta think about this. So I'm gonna go with this. But things are already looking really bad. Things are already looking bad because they could just put a second energy. Oh, and there's the potion. Great. So this is already looking bad. Oh, there's the second potion. Even worse. So I'm only using this to tank. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't think there's a way I can win. I need a second potion. Oh, and there it is. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, what I can do is I can retreat this, bring out Lapras, use Hydro Pump to knock out that Articuno. I know they're going to bring out this Starmie next. Ah, oh, what could I do to beat this Starmie? Oh, wait, no, I won. That was it. I forgot that Articuno is an EX card. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Okay, wow, I was way overthinking that. Oh, wow, I was way overthinking that. Okay. 
Yeah, the, some of the rules are things that I'm still getting used to. Like, when you knock out an EX card, you get two victory points. I definitely would have played that a little bit differently had I had realized that a lot sooner. But yeah, there you go. So that was a win that I feel like I didn't deserve. But yeah, these decks are still decent. Like, you saw that the Starmie and Articuno combo does work. Lapras is a great Pokemon to have as well. Uh, this deck somewhat works. I do like using Snorlax. I feel like I could replace this card and maybe Giovanni for two Misties. I think that would make this deck a lot better. Um, but as of right now, this deck is something that works. I definitely realize I don't need two X speeds in this deck because Starmie doesn't have a retreat cost. So yeah, maybe uh, those are the things that I would change with this deck. But there you go. This is... Uh, yeah, this is my video on the cards that I would really like to get in Pokemon TCG Pocket. And hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of those cards so that I could have better decks. Because as of right now, battling is a bit of a coin flip. There are definitely times where I'll just crush the opponents. There are other times where I'll win the way that I just won, where I just did not really expect the win. But there are going to be other times where I'm just struggling quite a lot. So yeah, it's really going to come down to building up my collection. And hopefully the cards that I mentioned that I wanted, I'll end up getting them really soon. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'm Conscience Love. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you in the next one.